How's she doing? We can... She's still running a fever. 101.3 down from 102 a couple minutes ago, but up from 100.8 at the hour. A well, human thermometer, well, that can come in handy. Poor thing. I want to go down. Well, a fever is just a body fighting off an illness. You know, as long as it doesn't get too high, it's good that she's sleeping it off. People get sick. It happens. Well, not really to you and Jesse, but... It's just that there's no other physiological signs of illness. Well, that can happen with a virus. What is it? Jesse and I discovered some new information about Sarah. I don't think she abandoned Jesse. I think something happened to her. She's been really upset about it. And then the fever. So you think her illness is psychosomatic? Yes. But how do I treat a psychosomatic problem? We might be able to help her with therapy, but we need to get her fever down first. Right. Treat the symptoms. I think I have an idea. It's okay. I never thought I'd see your tub being used as an actual tub. Temperature's still not dropping. Well, we just put the ice in. Give it a little time. Do you think she knows? Deep down that Sarah's not okay? It's possible. And her reaction, the fever. Maybe her body is fighting her deep-rooted anxiety as if it were some kind of infection. Almost like she knows what happened. What if she does? You mean like a suppressed memory? What if Jesse witnessed something, something she doesn't want to admit? Well, Kyle, in my experience, if she's gone to such great lengths to deny it, she won't want to go back there. I could go with her. I could access her memories if she lets me. Kyle, what you're talking about, even if I could wrap my head around it, I... I'm not sure it's the best way. I know it's extreme, but I have to help her. I have to try everything I can. 